Hello everyone. Calf muscle hypertrophy is one of the important clinical sign on examination. Sometimes it can be the only sign which can detect underlying serious conditions like Duchenne's muscular dystrophy or Becker's muscular dystrophy. Sometimes it can point you towards one of the common causes of calf muscle hypertrophy that is hypothyroidism. The calf muscle hypertrophy can be true hypertrophy or pseudo hypertrophy. The true hypertrophy is due to proliferation of the muscle fibers whereas pseudo hypertrophy is due to accumulation of non muscle tissues which can be fat, glycosaminoglycans like that. These are some of the causes of true hypertrophy, myotonic disorders, post poliomyelitis paralysis, spinomuscular atrophy, radiculopathy, peripheral neuropathy, muscular dystrophies like Duchenne's muscular dystrophy and Becker's muscular dystrophy. These are some of the myotonic disorders with their common names. These poliomyelitis paralysis Spinomuscular atrophy, radiculopathy, peripheral neuropathy, muscular dystrophies, they cause true hypertrophy because of proliferation of the underlying remaining skeletal muscle fibers. There are two types of muscle fibers, group 1 and group 2. Group 1 muscle fibers, they hypertrophy in response to chronic partial denervation. Whereas group 2 fibers, they hypertrophy in response to increased workload. That's a compensatory mechanism. Now, pseudo hypertrophy can be due to accumulation of glycosaminoglycans, adipose tissue, infiltration by tumors, amyloidosis, inflammation in myositis, infestation by cysticercosis. The glycosaminoglycan accumulation is commonly seen in hypothyroidism. Adipose tissue accumulation is seen in Duchenne's muscular dystrophy and Becker's muscular dystrophy. As I said earlier, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, Becker's muscular dystrophy, both of them have both true hypertrophy as well as pseudo hypertrophy. It is found that true hypertrophy is much more common than pseudo hypertrophy contributing to calf muscle hypertrophy. The calf muscle hypertrophy in hypothyroidism is known as Hoffman syndrome. Sometimes it can be referred to as Cocker Deber Sibelian syndrome. Hoffman syndrome is the one which occurs in adults whereas cocker deber semelin syndrome is seen in children with cretinism. These are two important syndromes associated with calf muscle hypertrophy in hypothyroidism. Thank you.